Hello, my amazing artists. Welcome back to Art With Me, Mrs. Knowles. We're going to be creating an abstract drawing today. Let me show you mine. Very cool, right? So abstract means that we're going to be using colors, lines, and shapes to create this artwork. So we see all that in here, right? I see colors, I see lines, I see shapes. So the artist who inspired this project, her name is Sonia Delaunay. <clears throat> Here's one of her artworks. I'll show you one more. So do you see the colors, the lines, and the shapes in these? Yes. She also uses something called rhythm. So when you are using rhythm in art, it's kind of similar to music. It's when something repeats. So she uses, the way that she uses rhythm is by repeating colors and repeating shapes. So do you see colors that she has repeated? I do. Do you see shapes that she has repeated? Definitely. So that's how, and that's how we are going to show rhythm in our abstract art today. Okay, let's get started. All right, so here is my Sonia Delaunay artwork again. So you can see that I have repeated circles in my design. I have also repeated lines and I've repeated colors. So that is how we're gonna show rhythm through our artwork today, is by repeating lines and shapes and colors. So you're gonna need a piece of white paper. You're also gonna need a pencil and a Sharpie, and then something to color with. I will be using colored pencils, but you could use another material if that's your choice. All right, let's get started. So the first step for this project is we are going to create our circles on our page. So to do this, you have a couple of different options. One would be to use a compass, to create circles using a compass. Another option is to find some different sizes of circles that you can trace on your paper. So you can see this is just an old, it's just um, tape. This is just a lid from something. So, um, you know, find a couple of two or three different sizes of circles. So I'm gonna use this so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So you're just going to use your pencil and trace around. And remember, we're trying to repeat things, right? So since this is a larger circle, I think I'm gonna do it again. And maybe one more time, I'll overlap. And do it one more time. Okay, cool. So now I'll add my smaller circles. All right, so let's see, how many circles did I add? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you should have about 10. You could do more, you could do less, that's up to you. Um, so now I'm just gonna use my Sharpie, trace around my pencil lines, and then erase my pencil lines. All right, so now that that's done, we are going to use our ruler to add some lines onto our design. So let's just take a look, a quick look at Sonia Delaunay's, oops, it's upside down, paintings again. And you can see that she adds these lines that um, for this one, it radiates out from the center, right? For this picture, it's kind of going right down the middle. So you have to decide where you are going to add lines throughout your paper. So you're gonna need a ruler for that. If you don't have a ruler, you could always use a book. You could use, um, you could cut a piece of cardboard like a cereal box. I have done that before. Okay, so I think I am going to start kind of on the side. Remember when you're using your ruler, you have to hold it with your other hand as you're doing it, right? You could make some of your lines closer together you could make some of them farther apart. It's totally up to you. You can also radiate the lines. So like if this was a point, I could start there, do another one, and then keep coming from that point as well. 
And since my, my ruler's a little bit shorter, so I have to move it so that I can get the end of that line there. So see, I'm gonna move my ruler down to get the last part of the line. Okay, I'm gonna finish adding my lines now. All right, now after you add your lines, I would encourage you to go back and think about places where you could add an additional, more circles inside circles. So for example, maybe here in this design, I decide, you know what? I'm gonna make this even more interesting and do another circle around here. And of course you can always freehand draw a circle, right? Like maybe I know, hey, I want to do a circle right here, right on the inside, and then maybe a smaller one right there. So you kind of add some more circles where you think you need them. All right, so I am ready to start coloring now. I chose five colors of color pencils to use. I want you to choose four or five different colors and stick to those colors because remember we're showing that idea of rhythm, which is repeating colors and repeating shapes throughout your project. So let's get started with the coloring. Did you notice as I was coloring this first part that my lines went in one direction as I was coloring? That is called hatching. When you make your pencil lines go in the same direction the whole time. Cross hatching is when you take your pencil and you go back across what you just did the opposite way. And what cross hatching does is it smooths out any spaces, any white spaces. It also makes your color more solid. It may also make your color darker because when you press down harder with the colored pencil, it makes your color a little bit of a shade darker, right? So you can try both hatching and cross hatching depending on what you're doing. Well, I am sure that you have noticed this by now, but what I've been doing is changing colors each time my Sharpie makes a new shape, basically. So each time the Sharpie intersects with another line or the shapes that I've created, then I change the color. And I have also been adding spicy coloring. Do you remember that? That's when you go around the edges with either a darker color or I have just been pressing down harder with my color I've been using to create um, like an outline there around the Sharpie edge. All right, so I have colored the whole thing. I still need to go back and touch up uh, this side of my paper to add some spicy coloring and just touch it all up, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I hope that you guys enjoy making your Sonia Delaunay artworks. 
and I can't wait to see them when they're done. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.